Hi guys, just a quick video on unblocking the rear jets on an Audi A3 2010 Sportback. Rear wash wipe isn't working, I can hear the motor going but there's no water coming out of the jets at the back. So I'll take the shroud off and look at the nozzle. Taking the shroud off you have to be quite careful because uh, it could easily break them. You have to hold it at the bottom at both sides and it'll detach first on the wiper arm side. Then you can roll it up and backwards and gently open the whole unit up. Here's the part number if you do break it. To take the nozzle off it just lifts off. You can use a screwdriver under the neck of the nozzle here. Or you might be able to just pull it off with your hands or even use a pair of pliers. As you can see there looks like there's quite a bit of corrosion inside the nozzle on the base. So I'll have to clean all that out. This car's been stood for quite a long time and the rear wash wipe hasn't been used so it's left for corrosion to build up. So it's always good to activate the rear wash wipe now and again even if you don't need to use it just to clear the nozzle jets of any debris. And again the part number for a new nozzle. I activated the rear wash wipe to see if the water was coming through which it was. If it doesn't come through, then look underneath the car for signs of a water leak. As under freezing conditions when activated, the pipes can blow off where the motor is, just under here on the wheel arch. So if that's your issue, you can just undo the wheel arch liner, bend it back a little bit to reattach the pipe. And you need a very fine pick light tool to clean inside the base of the nozzle. And then to clean out the nozzle jets, you want a, a quite a strong, thick needle, like this one. Of course, you can get a specific jet wash cleaning and positioning tool, which will probably be a little bit easier to use. But the humble needle works fine, as long as you don't stab yourself. Prod them in and out a few times and roll them round. And when you insert it and move it from side to side, you can actually move the position of the nozzles, as they're just little balls with holes in and they'll just rotate in their sockets. So you need to carefully position them to where you want the jets to go. But be careful you don't break the end of the needle off, as you can easily break the end off. There's quite a lot of corrosion in the bottom of here, so I'll have to just clean all that out. Reattach the nozzle, you just push it on firmly. It goes in between these two projections and seating fully down onto the nut. To reattach the cover, you just hook the clips onto the rear. And then roll down forward onto the arm and it'll click into place over the nozzle holes. And now I'm going to test it. Well that works but it's way out of line. It's quite handy having two little jets on these ones. You want to try and set one very close and obviously one further up the wiper arm and close to the wiper arm as well, wetting the blade before it moves across the screen. And there we go. That's not too bad. I'm happy with that for now. Hmm, maybe I will buy one of those tools. Just for a bit of fine tuning. Perfect. Hope this video helped you out guys. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. <laughs>